Good afternoon. Welcome to Healthcare Reality. Today is April 20th, uh, 2010. It's my mom's birthday. It's also Hitler's birthday. You could read into that. Just kidding. Happy birthday, Mom. Uh, the show could be sponsored by the greatest lollipops in the world. I, I'd bring it up closer to the camera, but it's hard to see. People with Crohn's disease often have to rely on liquids and other supplements. <laughs> This is the most tasteful one. It's called Linda's Lollies, and uh, I find them at Staples. I'll try to bring it a little closer there. Uh, I find them at Staples or at Bed Bath & Beyond, but you could check out, uh, I believe they have a website, Linda's, L-I-N-D-A, Lollies, L-O-L-L-I-E-S.com. They're not a sponsor, but hopefully they will be soon. Okay. Uh, for those of you who haven't uh, seen the show yet, I, I'm somewhat of an expert, I guess, on Crohn's disease. Uh, I've had it for about 25 years. Um, I've managed to cope with it with the help of my family and friends. And uh, I, I just thought it would be helpful to share my perspective and answer other people's questions in the hope that we could form a community and help each other. Uh, I've also written a book about my uh, exploits. Uh, here it is. It's called uh, Confessions of a Professional Hospital Patient. It's a real, obviously, and very funny account of uh, what's happened to me, how I deal with it, uh, both in and out of the hospital. And you could purchase it at uh, hospitalpatient.com or at Amazon or any other book dealers. Okay, today's show is titled Hollywood and Crohn's Disease. Why would I title it that? Well, when are we going to get a movie? It seems like an illness isn't really, you know, hasn't made it yet unless it's got a movie. And I don't mean just a, a character with a backstory. I mean a movie. Like, I guess mentally ill people have one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Autistic people, Rain Man. Uh, Cancer, Brian Song, great film. Cancer again in a, a, a recent movie, which is... Uh, a really good find if you're going to rent uh, a flick. It's called Griffin and Phoenix. It stars Amanda Peet. It's about two people with cancer, but believe it or not, it's an uplifting film. And it has a great soundtrack, by the way. I don't understand why Hollywood hasn't embraced Crohn's disease. I mean, come on. It's funny. The stories may be embarrassing, but it's funny. It's poignant. It's inspirational. Uh, maybe I guess they look at it as it's bathroom related, no one wants to do it, but it's funny. I mean, I could tell you, sto like you could tell me millions of stories. For example, and, and this happened to me in Hollywood, I had a lunch meeting in Beverly Hills. I was a little bit early. I was going to meet someone, I think, at a bagel nosh. I happened to be parked outside of uh, one of Hollywood's most famous restaurants where you it's so hard to get a lunch uh, table on short notice. And I had to go to the bathroom, if you know what I mean. And I had about 15 minutes to kill, so I decided to make believe that I had reservations there, and I used the bathroom. I looked the part, was wearing a jacket, blah, blah, blah. So they let me into the bathroom. It was about 12.30, and I did what I had to do. And it was not a pretty sight. And as I got up, I realized I stuffed the toilet. And in this particular restaurant, the, the bathroom, it's beautiful, but it's right outside the dining room. And I had to clean up and get out of the bathroom before uh, it caught up with me, if you know what I mean. So I just politely said, hey, I think I'll wait outside for my friend, and then I just left, and I've never been back to that place. But there are millions of stories. Even, even the mundane parts of Crohn's disease are worthy for a film. I mean, I, I spend half my day dealing with health insurance companies, and I'm on the phone, and whenever they try to put me into one of those automated you know, systems, I get real frustrated, and I've learned the way to deal with frustration, at least that kind of frustration. I put them on speakerphone, <laughs> and then when it says, please state your name, I use bad words. You know, I've used real bad words, but for the purposes of this uh, video, I'll say, I've used douchebag, and then the next prompted answer is, well, Mr. Douchebag, what can we do for you? Well, you get the point. I go on and on with it. But the point of this whole video is that Crohn's disease needs its own Hollywood film. And not one of these, hey, do you have Crohn's disease? You know, is there something wrong with you? It's a rough illness, just like all these other illnesses are rough. But we need it to make Hollywood, to get any sort of attention, okay? We need it to be cool. We need it to be inspiring to come back from Crohn's. And I think Hollywood is the best way to deal with that. 
And I guess I started this uh, video sort of tongue-in-cheek, but I really mean it. It's time. And again, not a backstory. We need a one flew over the cuckoo's nest or a rain man with someone with Crohn's. It could be funny. It could be poignant. Even dating, I mean, or a relationship, how to deal with it. It's, it's, there's so many storylines that I'm really surprised that a writer hasn't caught on yet. So think about it. Send me uh, emails at uh, michaelweiss at hospitalpatient.com or hit me up on Twitter. My, uh, my Twitter name is Hospital Patient. And certainly uh, visit hospitalpatient.com and, and purchase my book. Uh, there's a lot of funny stories in it. And I think you will enjoy it. And, and of course, feel free to let me know if you have a topic that you'd like me to cover in a future video. Uh, or if you just want to send me uh, something confidentially and want my thoughts on it, I will certainly respect your wishes. So uh, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll speak to you guys uh, in another day or so. Thank you.